SBENCH 6 offers many different calculation functions that can be used for acquired or imported signals. In general, there are two different types of calculations. The first ones provide a numerical value as the result, which is shown in the info dialog. The other types of calculations generate a complete new signal. This will be demonstrated in the video How to Calculate an FFT Signal. To start a calculation for one or more signals, mark the desired signals in the channel dialog. Click the right mouse button to open the context menu and choose Calculation to see the different groups of possible calculations. In this example, we take a look at the Simple Measurements group, which offers several general signal calculations, such as minimum, maximum, or the average value. Another way to start a calculation is to use the New menu. In the pull-down menu, you will find the same groups of possible calculations. Using this way, all available channels are pre-selected. Again, choose the Simple Measurements group, and then click onto the Signal Info to open the dialog for the calculation settings. In this dialog, on the left side, there is a list of signals that will be used for the calculation. If you click the Select Channels button, you will get an overview of all the available channels. Use the checkboxes to adjust your selection. If you want, the calculation can be averaged. In the field, Number of Acquisitions for Averaging, you specify how many measurements will be used for the averaging. If you don't want the measurements to be averaged, leave this value at 1. In the Calculation Area pull-down menu, you determine if the calculation will happen for the entire signal or only parts of it. You could choose Current View for the current zoom area or Cursor for the area between the two cursors. In this example, choose Current View. Under Source Display, you can determine which display will be used for the calculation if several different analog display windows are open. If the Keep Calculation in the Loop checkbox is activated, the calculation is done not just once, but starts again with every new measurement or change of the source signal. Finally, click the OK button to start the calculation. The results appear in the Info dialog under the Signal Names. You can mark the results to copy and paste them to any other document. Also, you can mark one or several results. Just press the right mouse button to open a context menu and choose further options such as Delete. With a double click onto a result, you can open the settings dialog again. 